Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at these EDC tools from RAE Gear. These are brand new, 100% made in the USA just like all their products. We've taken a look at their multi-tool sheaths before. So again, 100% made in America. These are made out of stainless as well as bronze alloy, so they, they are quite beefy. You're not gonna break one of these, which is really cool. We can start here with the Derringer 1. You can see anybody who likes these little EDC keychain type tools is probably going to like these. Very well built, again, very, very rugged, made out of the stainless and the bronze, 100% uh, made in America there. So this one has 19 tools to it, it's two ounces. So on the side here, you have a nail pry, uh, or it, it is pretty sharp, so you can kind of use it as a chisel or for a scraper. I used that to scrape some paint off of a table the other day that I had on my desk. I just used it to scrape it. It worked pretty good. You never know what you can, you know, what you'll find yourself using with these if you have one of these in your kit. And of course, they're not going to replace, you know, standard tools that are obviously made for the task. But you do get a lot of little, you know, different tools in this small package, which is pretty cool. On the other hand here, you have a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and it does work really, really well. It's the perfect size Phillips, so it fits in you know, most of your standard Phillips uh, screws and you do get a quite a bit of torque out of this, which is cool. It's not flimsy, um, so I like using that. It's also got a flat head on this side as well. Right up here next to the Phillips and the flat head, there is a space where you can put a uh, keychain loop or you could put a, you know, a keychain ring. I just have a piece of orange paracord on there just in case I drop it. Um, it'll be easy to spot that way. Uh, it also has a magnet on the back, so you know it'll, it'll stick to anything metal like a toolbox, for example. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you have standard and metric wrench, wrenches in here. So I'm not sure if you can see in there, but it is marked M and the different sizes are marked on there. And then on the other side here, you have uh, your standard sizes. Another cool thing about this tool and the other tools as well is that it has a quarter inch uh, hex shank. So you could stick things in there like these little quarter inch bits. You know, those fit right in there. And then you'd have, you know, a, a way to, uh, to turn those uh, as well. So not only can you do the, you know, hex heads or or uh, Allen wrench type heads. You could of course do your different uh, screwdriver sizes in there. And, or you could also even use a um, an adapter, quarter inch adapter, and you could use this with sockets, which is gonna work great for me because I don't carry a full size socket set and I only need a few sockets for maybe my vehicle, for example, and just being able to throw a small tool in here with that uh, adapter and some small sockets that I need, that's uh, gonna work pretty cool. Moving on next to the Derringer 2, there's a few additions that the Derringer uh, 1 doesn't have. You can see the difference in size here. This one weighs four ounces, so just a little bit heavier, but really strong made, uh, again, out of that stainless and that bronze. This one has 24 tools, the other one had 19. Uh, so on this one, you do have the, the nail pry, the scraper, um, same as the other one. This one actually adds a cap lifter or a bottle opener there, so you can uh, crank open a bottle there. You do have the magnet on the back. Uh, you have the same um, flathead and Phillips on this side. You've got the same quarter inch uh, bit drive on the end of it. So it works similar, but this one adds a T-shank as well. So you can actually put the quarter inch uh, in the middle there and then you can really get some additional uh, torque on that, which is cool. It does have, again, the standard, you probably see it a little bit better on this one, the standard and the metric. Now this is a closed, uh, material here so that they could have you know different sizes on both sides so it really is only going to work with uh, bolts that have the just the flat head you know you're going to be able to stick that in there it's a 3 8 and you can uh, turn it that way whoops up on the metric side 3 8 so it sticks right in there real well and you'd be able to you know loosen or tighten that but you wouldn't be able to work on anything that has you know like a stud slipping through it so unfortunately like on your battery not only is it going to be kind of cumbersome to get in there uh in the card to get that battery off um, but it usually has a post that sticks up that you wouldn't be able to use with this but again you can use the um, the adapter and then you'd be able to get down in there and uh, and use it pretty much just like a you know just like a bit driver um, you'd be able to get down there and do that with the sockets that you have the Derringer 2 also has two slots for bit storage so you could slide your your bit in there it does have a magnet in there as well so it'll hold it 
in there, it's not gonna fall out. And then to retrieve it, you just kind of st stick your finger in there and pry it out. And you can get the bit right out. The Derringer 2 and the Derringer 3 also have a bubble level. So that's cool. Again, just another little addition that you don't generally see on a little EDC tool. All right, moving on up to the biggest one, the Derringer 3. Uh, this one has all the tools that the other ones have. It has the, the pry, it has the scraper, it has the uh, cap lifter on the end, keychain loop. It has the T-shank that you can put in the quarter inch bits as well as the one on the end. This one actually has um, four slots for bit storage. So you can slide these in there and they just store right in the tool as well. Again, you just kind of got to use your fingers to manipulate that back out. Uh, also has the standard and metric um, wrenches there. So let's see if we are on standard. Let's go to standard, which is this size, 3 8 And you can see there that you could turn your bolt, no problem. This one does have the pass through, which is cool. So if you did have a stud on the top uh, or, you know, part of the uh, the bolt sticking out, you could, you could do that. This one also has dual uh, bubble levels. So you have the bubble level in the middle, you have the bubble level on the end. This one, the Derringer 3 also has a pocket clip, a really, really sturdy pocket clip there. So definitely pretty cool tools. Um, maybe if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick this middle of the line one, the Derringer 2, uh, just because it does add that bottle opener that a lot of people use. Um, it does have the bubble level, which is cool. Um, you know, you could use it both ways, that way and that way. It does have the T-shank, it does have the end shank It's got a cool screwdriver, cool flat blade. It also has the bit storage in there, and you just, again, just stick your, your nail in there to get the bit out. Um, so, probably my favorite would be this Derringer, too. It also fits, you know, down into a, uh, you know, one of these small little kits really well. So that's probably my favorite, the two. The one is nice um, for what it is. You know, maybe carry this on your keychain. Again, I used the scraper on this the other day just to scrape some paint off and it worked really well. You don't have the level on here. You don't have the T-shank, um, but you have everything else. The magnet, you have the wrenches, although they only go up to a certain size. So that one's pretty cool. The largest one's probably my least favorite. It is quite heavy. Um, you know, and you do get the additional pocket clip and the bubble level, uh, but for me, you know, again, the two, you know, I just like the two a little bit better. I like the feel of it. I like the size of it. It's definitely pocketable. You know, this one is quite heavy. It's about as heavy as like a full-size Leatherman um, or possibly even heavier. But, you know, it is rock solid. You're not going to break this thing. Um, and then my only other complaint uh, with this one is the bit storage. It is quite hard to get the bits out of there because you really, it, you know, because they have the magnet on the end. So it's really hard. Sometimes I have to just go like this to get the, to get the bit started and then it just falls out. So to me, that's not really, you know, that usable. I mean, yes, you can store them in there. Um, they told me to maybe put them in backwards, but I didn't find that that works any better. I like the bit storage on the two where it's just uh, vertically or, or it just goes, you know, on the side there rather than through the tool. Makes it a lot easier to get out. And then finally, my only complaint with all three of these um, is that the nail pry doesn't work that great um, because you have no you have no fulcrum. You have nothing to to kind of uh, you know to pry with. So if you stick that on a nail, let's say on the table here, you, you know you can't get any you, you can't you literally can't get any pry with it. Even if you flip it upside down. You know, you can get a little bit of pry, um, but you know, I, I do like the fact that it is a scraper. So, you know, if you're looking for a little pry tool, you know, probably one of the ones for maybe County Com or something like that that are actually angled to be more like a pry bar would work better. All in all, they're pretty cool tools. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think is the best tool and what you guys uh, think is cool or not about these. Of course, I'll have a link below where you guys can check these out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video today and share it to any friends or family who might be interested. Make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next video.